are talking about greatness in men and how to achieve greatness, how to be great. Yeah. You feel me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. Man, see, you come on, as I say, much to about. Let, let's. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. What's up? What's up? You know, it differs, right? It's relative. To, it's relative. Mm -hmm. Success to everybody uh, differs from one thing to another. Mm -hmm. Goes to a street kid who are Dondani like an achievement. It's greatness. It's greatness. Yeah. Who are there on my three? God dang. Kaderi. Kaderi. Kigoni. Bunch. Uh, to, to, to own a Kibanda would even be a dream for some. <laughs> saying, get me <laughs> <love."> <laughs> All my boys on a dime are saying, okay. Man. You know, so greatness greatness is relative. It depends with uh, where, where, you, where you have to start your journey at. Because if you have like you have a few advantages and your point of greatness has to be higher you know it's only demanded of you okay so what's greatness to accomplish i said this a mm -hmm. while back mm -hmm. so if i'm successful mm -hmm. this is all i work for i want people to, to forget my father I want him to be known as my father you don't want to be known as his son no no like when people when history, if I achieve mm -hmm. whatever I want to achieve, my father is a great man. Mm -hmm. So to beat that, you really have to do something. But, uh, I want him to be known as my father throughout history. Mm -hmm. Not that he, you know, the, Kamlesh was the son of, mm -hmm. no. So Kamlesh's father mm -hmm. was, you know, like how you go, Uhuru Kenyatta's dad is, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's all I want in this life. Drake's dad. Drake's dad, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Kevin Hart's dad, mm. Elon Musk's dad, mm. Kamlish's dad. Okay, you know. So after that happens, I'm okay. You're straight. You went your point eight. You're good. Yeah. yeah. You know, like if, like if <laughs> I just imagine this, okay, and you know how great this is, yeah. <laughs> like, na toka tu hapa. Then like a joke, no, like you are listening. Hello, this is William Samuel Ruto. <laughs> you know, no get a camish. She get the point eight. She get the kwanza. Yeah, yeah. Don't get a die. Me too. Ah, no, that could not come away. You know, you know that would be nice. That that would be greatness right there. Yeah, it would be a very great day if that would happen. That's what's up, man. Yeah, but what, what is greatness to you? Greatness to me um, is being free. Okay. Free freedom of thought, freedom of movement, mm -hmm. financial freedom. Okay. And using that freedom uh, for the good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yeah. Good is relative, you know. Yeah, good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being philanthropic with it. Yeah, yeah, partly. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. partly. But yeah, I was, all these people that 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 saw her dreams to her blood, man. She was beaten. She was in prison. She was, but she still kept on going with her agenda and mm -hmm. her what she believed in. Yeah. She never backed down. She always protected the rainforest in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. look, look, look at where it got her. True. But, you know, the price of greatness is not something very light. True. True. It's a huge price to, to pay. Very. And, 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 and more often than not, mm -hmm. guess who suffers? Mm -hmm. The people that actually are nuclear to this person. Yeah, the people around you. Yeah, yeah. like your immediate. You, your you, family. Yeah, if you look no at... No time. Yup, mm. yup. So your kids will probably resent you. You know. probably live a very good life. Good life, just but they resent you because yeah. you're never available. Yeah. Your wife will resent you. That's if she doesn't leave you. Because mm -hmm. a lot of great people are, are either divorced or... or Outside. Outside. <laughs> yeah. Never really. You know, Kirubi. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, that's a great man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But look, the 
look at the life he lived. It was great. But I bet it was, it was a bit lonely. It was lonely. Yeah. It was lonely. Yeah. You, you can only entertain yourself for so long. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but he had, you know, a great life. Shout out to him, man. You know? Yeah. So, sometimes when you chase greatness, because, you know, what does it take to achieve it? Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything, man. Everything and everyone. Is, have you ever seen that quote where, like, if you think this is it for you, quit now. Mm -hmm. But the minute you push past uh, that feeling of quitting, mm -hmm. that feeling, that's where greatness is found. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> when, if, if you usually run two miles a day, try run three. Always See, push your boundaries. Push your boundaries. Push the envelope. And that's how greatness is achieved. Because mm -hmm. greatness doesn't really uh, occur in comfort. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, seek discomfort. Discomfort is where greatness is. Is have you ever watched Forrest Gump? No. Really? Yeah. What I was about to say that, but before we got on air, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, but it's it's actually pretty nice. Yeah. It, it's 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 pretty nice actually. Shout out to what's his name? Shout out to that guy. He has a new movie out though, it's very nice. Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks. A man named Otto. Okay, I haven't, it's funny. I haven't seen it's funny that. as hell. He's a grumpy old man. Okay. Mm. Who wants to commit suicide? Every chance he gets, the new neighbors just mess it up. And, what? And the, she, the neighbor just showers him with love and then he, until he decides I'm not going to kill myself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good man. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 you see, you see sometimes uh, when these movie roles, mm -hmm. man, you might find that that character, the, the arc of that character to get there was like he lived a really great life. Mm -hmm. But then at the at the end of it, mm -hmm. it, him seeking his own goals and never really prioritizing family and. and and friendships and all that. Mm -hmm. He finds himself alone at his uh, final days, mm -hmm. feeling suicidal or something, or, or you know. Yeah. That's why you see uh, a lot of a lot of men in their sixties, a lot of men who actually achieved what they set out to achieve, are alone. They might actually even be ostracized within their own family. Mm -hmm. He's not divorced or or whatever, but. The wife has uh, manipulated the kids against, against him. Against the man. Yeah. You know. But can we still consider you great if the home front is in shambles? Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of great people don't have uh, their homes in order. No, but in terms of just this plain disrespect in your household. But your accolades no, no, inside it's, it's, are it's, crazy. It's not like they'll disrespect you. Mm -hmm. It's like, have you ever met people who don't like their dad? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But they have university level education that he paid for. Mm -hmm. That's what you mean. You get. Yeah. So you find resentment. like resentment. Yeah, the resentment. Mm -hmm. And if you if you actually go back and look at it, mm -hmm. this man did the most yeah. for this uh, this person, mm -hmm. this child, and whatever. Mm -hmm. But the mother manipulated the situation because most great men don't really have that much time for their wives. True. So oh, what? Kids. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't have that, uh, the time for them as 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 his family weekends. And a tough taka like a deal flani ka point eight. I get ya. <laughs> Y'all are out there going like ah man, I wish my old man will take me swimming. <laughs> and he's trying to swim in money. You know for you. Na sa you are to match you and you are swimmo. I'm a kuna swimmo kwa kwa kids. You know. Yeah. And then your mom comes and hangs out with you and now you feel validated. You know, it's the whole she also feels yeah, the it's the whole situation mm -hmm. where Ukoshule, mm -hmm. okay, some really nice private school somewhere, right? And you're mad because Budako alipatia tao, alafu madako kakufinia, alafu Budako alipatia madako tao mbili. So, for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm a cool job, I'm a cool day shopping, I'm a cool day school fees. Nothing I'm not fitting yet to say that I got 15, where back you could work to second and you 15. So, some corona could just not fit yet at all. Secretly, like Kunjo, Kame Kunjo is like, hey, my son, 
unachukuanga uki you know mm-hmm. you feel like she did so much for you in that moment but in reality it was in extension you know yeah. it's his money it's trickling down money. to you yeah. and that's how some mothers actually end up manipulating their kids that's true that's true you know yeah. now it becomes like na jomza hata ni party yangu do enough ina building my mom do anything here do kando so that i can be able to survive in school ah mm-hmm. uh, man i wanted to study uh do some shit name something shit people usually study nowadays Man. Bachelor of Arts in whatever it is, okay? Man. Where? <laughs> uh-huh. Look, I feel possible. <laughs> Look, let me ask you this. Art students were just chilling. They were just creating. <laughs> Look, I do Bachelor of Arts, tourism. What the hell is that? <laughs> what do you study for? There's no greatness in that. <laughs> so can you achieve greatness? Uh, but anyway, mm-hmm. you know, like there is, you know, like you, you go to, you wanted to do Bachelor of Arts Tourism, and your dad was like, nah, nah. instead of that, you end up doing what you want, you will end when you meet on a cabima in a yako, you can do it with your jinga. I'm going to take you to Strat Business School, pay the required, and you'll get a good education in some yeah uh, yeah uh, yeah mm. could i get mm. then um, you do that you're so resentful but you're still studying and everything and then after that he goes like you go you tarmac for like six seven months he sits you down and he goes like you should do an mba and you're so pissed he, he doesn't see your vision of what you want to do with your life mm. you and your mother is telling you to go look for a job <coughs> to get a wife to get some kids some and kids. whatever yeah. you know and then your old man is telling you now nah, go do an mba okay now you're doing an mba with a lot of grudges nini nini now you get a good job and you only send money to your mother yeah the iron the iron the iron the all sheer the, iron all because yeah your mother said you know so sometimes great men the, the cost of being great man is 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 pretty steep and you'll find that this person did man because when we talk about our parents especially mm-hmm. man like so like they'll they'll so it's a touchy feeling something yeah, they'll tell you, man, when I went to school, I wore my first shoes when I was 35 or something, you know. <laughs> I used to cross the Sahara. Man, I'm like, yeah. Hey, una-